Hello wild people, we're back with Planet Zoo and today guys we are going to go over how you guys can make money fast, I hope. <laughs> Man, I gotta know what I'm talking about. So, uh, Planet Zoo, I'm using this beautiful map, look at it, it is stunning. It's the Tiaga map, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, so yeah, we need to make lots and lots of money. Oh, this is nice. That, that, oh, this is quite a nice path. I've not really used this one before. So, yeah, we're just going to see how much money we can make. We need to make money... Ooh, we need to make money really fast. Oh, what's going on with this? Okay, it doesn't like the ground. I'm confused. Okay, but let's just go around and flatten stuff. Does it cost me money to flatten stuff? Probably. Yeah, it does. Oh, no. I want to flatten everything. I actually had this problem in sandbox mode probably a good two years ago. Yeah, probably is a good... Look! It's not entirely flat. And now it doesn't like it. So sometimes the path just will, like, not want to work for some bananas reason. It's really annoying me that there's, like, a little lick there. So the key is let's not use too much space up firstly because... We're going to get taxed on that. So we just got to be a bit careful. <laughs> and hopefully... Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully this will go well. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I know what I'm talking about. But if you're new to the channel, welcome guys. Please consider subscribing if you feel like you're in the right place. This channel is all for animal games and stuff like that. So creatures, animals, that kind of thing. Just having a wild time. That's what we're going to be doing. So firstly, we need to get some animals in. The best way I think, personally, is to go small exhibits. I want one there. Do I want one there? I could put one there. But I feel like people need to look at it. Uh, yeah, let's put in a little habitaty doodah thing. So let's go like here. Yeah, we're not going to make anything fancy yet because we need to save money. We have 36,000. I'm actually on the challenge mode at the moment. Not, not on the online franchise. This is the offline franchise because... I have a very good franchise on there at the moment. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, we need donation boxes firstly, so people can give me their money. Da, 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 da. People better give me their money. So let's go to, oh crikey, yeah, we need all the staff stuff. This is where it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, we need staff facilities. So yeah, how to make money fast. I think gets get a high level uh exhibit animal but if you guys think i'm wrong then let me know in the comment section i don't mind tell me uh so we need an exhibit animal that is gonna be like high this this path system today is not working too good is it take that down there it gives a bit more space uh yeah we need we need one that's got good like what do you call it i don't know what you call it when it's highly regarded. <laughs> ah, let's have a look. Hang on. I don't want to I'm being really stupid. This thing. Appeal. Appeal. Come on. I, it's very early in the morning for me, okay? I'm recording. It's half seven in the morning, which probably isn't very early for a lot of you guys, but I think it's early. Okay, we have a little staff room there. We need a workshop. Will you fit there? No. No, you will not. Let's put you there and then hopefully around the back here we'll fit in some sort of veterinary surgery thing. The vet surgery is like huge. Why is it so big? Okay, well we'll just put it kind of there. Not really bothered about things being aligned to grid. Right, so we've spent all of our fortune on this. Sorry guys, I have a really squeaky chair. So yeah. Okay, doesn't it look great at the moment? Okay, we're doing this for money, not for looks, alright? Yay! Okay, let's go to exhibit trading a second. Let's see what... like. Okay, so the highest... Okay. Ooh, let's refresh the list a second. Can I refresh anything? Do I have to buy these? Okay, it's going to have to be the yellow anaconda. Uh, but it actually doesn't matter too much. We could have a western diamondback thing. I'm trying to think what breeds really quick. Ah, terrapins do breed very, very quick. Actually, it's fun now because I bought all the expansion packs, so I'm thinking I'd like to do another franchise. Now I have all these expansion packs. We need something that, like, breeds really, really well. I think let's go for... Like, the anaconda's good, but they don't breed particularly quick. Let's go with the terrapin. And they are super cute. 
So let, yeah, let's go with those. Let's just go with these two. Let's put those in the zoo. We're going to need staff. I mean, that would help. Uh, let's just get one keeper. Let's get one caretaker. Uh, we need we need all the other stuff, but before we do that, I'm just going to... Oh! Lovely, their humidity and stuff is all sorted. Cool. Right, do we need power or anything like that? I think we're okay at the moment. Here come the people! Here come the people! Like, why is there so much grass between my... On my pavement. Okay, there's a lot of people. And... Oh, has no vets. Okay, yes, we need staff. Good plan, Batman. We need a mechanic. We need a security. We need a vent. No, we don't need a vendor. We probably will need a vendor, but we need a veterinarian. Uh, we need an educator. And we need stuff where people can spend their money. <laughs> so we need, like, yeah, where's the information center? Okay, let's put that in. We need something with a big queue as well, because man, do people get queue like people end up queuing the food stall and let's put a, a drink stall in. Okay, so we have okay. Ah! Eventually, we'll fancy pants up if we had the money. But this is how to make money fast. I'm just gonna adjust one's prices, so hopefully we can make a bit more money. Even if we take it up a pound, you know, every little helps. Gonna have a pound and apparently 5p for some reason. Uh, but my face is currently in the way of that. But yeah, so here we go. So we're just, um, like the information center is gonna go nuts. So let's just put our prices up a bit. Hopefully, we can make some bare money. Hopefully, we do need probably a little, uh, we need to an animal that's gonna breed quick. I'm trying to think what breeds quick that also is gonna make us some money. Like, peacocks are normally good for this, but their appeal's not too high, so you need something with, like, good appeal, but cheap, but breeds well, you know? Let's just up this a little bit. Okay, charge people a fortune for umbrellas. That's what Disneyland do, so we'll do that here. I don't think they even do umbrellas, do they, actually? I think they do those little ponchos things. Okay, we're going there, we're getting there. Come on, guys. Are people going to be angry with my price hike? Probably. <laughs> I don't care. We need to uh, be able to afford stuff. Okay, let's put the prices up here a little bit. We'll just take it to six quid or whatever again. So yeah, if you make your profit margins more, you're going to make more money. It's as simple as that. Oh, these actually are pure profit, so... Oh, did I put in two informations? Oh, we don't really need two informations, do we? Oh, no. Can I sell this? Whoops. Oh, I hope I didn't lose money on that. Probably did. Did I not put in Bernie's? I thought I'd put in Bernie's Bakes, you see, guys. Can I put that? Oh. oh. Okay, let's take this path out a second. The ground is being slightly strange here. Oh, I thought that was going to take the whole lot out then. Okay. Bernie's Bakes, you can do this. Just link to path, my friend. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, yeah, let's just have a price hike on these cookies. Man, they're going to be the world's most expensive cookies. That's fine. Okay, yeah, people can queue there. That's fine. How are we doing on money? The money is going up. See? We need those terrapins to breed, and then we can sell those terrapins. So, let's have a look at animal trading a second. Let's, well, actually, let's go to Zoopedia. We need something that's going to breed really well. I actually... I don't know all the animals at the moment because I only just bought all these expansion packs, so I don't know. So we need to go something that's promiscuous. Promiscuous girl. You... I can't remember the words. Um, yeah, like those turtles, tortoises, they breed well, but they take ages to age up. So you gotta know that. Oh, I'd love an alligator, but I don't know how well they breed, if you know what I mean. Leopards are good. What about like an arctic fox or something? Hmm. Oh, I love the otter. They are brilliant. What about Bing... Tr Bing a wrong? Bing a wrong? Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, uh, well, I'm trying to think. We need something that's like small. What about capybara? I've not had a capybara yet. But I don't know what their appeal is either. So I don't know. How much space do they need as well? Because actually we want to not use too much space up. 
See, I could go with what I know. Like, a warthog is a good one. <laughs> Dal sheep is pretty cool. Uh, do dingoes breed well? No. These guys breed so well. I'm so glad I put these in. Oh, badger! We could put just a random badger in and just see what happens. We need something small. We need something that breeds well. What about an anteater? Oh, unknown. Wow, okay. I think that's the first animal I've seen on planet Z that's unknown. I know an Indian peafowl is a good shout. They do breed very quick. Like, very, very quick. What about this thing? Huh. I don't know what this thing is, actually. What about platypus? Oh, I'd love a platypus, but I don't know if I can afford one. So I'll have to see. Or oh, monkeys or lemurs or something. I mean, they breed well. Tell you what, let's build an enclosure. Let's see what space we have. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to build a little enclosure, like, kind of here. It's not going to be massive. Because, yeah, you get taxed on your land. Which is annoying. Tax, man. It's so annoying. Anybody else feel me? Okay, let's just... I'm going to edit the park hours so we do not get stuck. I'm going to put another path in. I'm going to not... Oh, we'll just take out this way. Okay, that's probably a little bit big, actually. Ah, that'd be alright. Okay. Might be a bit big. I do tend to make these things a bit big, so we'll see. You guys want me to try Animalica? I will try Animalica. It's a new game. Kind of a new game. When did it come out? I don't know when it came out. Uh, but yeah. It does look good. I have tried it before and I, I, I didn't. I was a bit like, whoa, what is this? But, you know, I'll try it if you guys want me to. Okay, I'm going to hopefully connect that with that. That's the great plan that I have. We do need the path slightly wider though, because man, does it get clogged. Oh, hang on, carry on. I want, I want you to be straight for a minute and then, and then we can connect the stuff off in. Oh, that's really annoying that it's done that. Okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, so we probably need to just expand this outwards. I probably should have just used a thicker path, which is badly annoying. Let's use a different color path though. Let's use, I like this thing. Oh, it's got flowers on it. Look at this. It's pretty. I don't think this is a good way to like save money is by putting loads of path in. But yeah, uh, well, it's fine. We we need to. We definitely need some animals in though that are gonna have sort of high appeal. People can see them well. People are gonna get educated. The more educated people are, the more likely they're gonna spend their money. So fingers. Whoa! Why is it suddenly so dark? I thought I edited these hours. Just keep going. Cool, and then let's go wooden habitat and we'll put a little doodar as close. Yeah, you've got to have it as close to the staff path as possible. The less your staff are walking around everywhere, the better. That's a note. That is a note. Okay, how much space do we have here then? We have... 900 meters. Oh my gosh, that's not a lot of space, actually. Honestly, they use so much space. What about platypus? I can't afford one. Their appeal is quite good. Let's see what the top appeal is. Okay, a platypus. I mean, I could afford a platypus. I don't know if there's a female one, though. Could also... I don't know how much space these guys need. Because you need, like, a lot of water as well. Okay. Could I have two platypus. <laughs> Am I going to, like, take a... Take a, a plunge on this and see if they actually breed well? Oh, um, I don't know what to do because I don't actually know those. So let's, I mean, just need something that breeds really well, you know, and then it will bring in. I'm going to take a hit on the platypus, I think, and hope they breed really well, I think. Or the meerkat is a good idea because meerkats do seem to breed quite well. This is not a good idea, I don't think. My brain is, my brain is telling me no. Okay. But I only have 900 meters here. I mean, I can extend it a little bit if we need to, if, if time gets tough. If times get tough, we can expand it slightly. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, I can only males, though. I knew that was going to do that to me. Okay, let's think about something else. Let's think about a capybara, then. Let's go... Uh, let's think about a warthog, maybe. A dull sheep. Badger. I'm more like for having a badger. That's new, you know. Hmm, let's think about... What would you guys use? What would you pick? We need something that's going to breed well, though. Okay, there's not a lot going on in the marketplace right now. 
This is not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what to do now. Uh, let's try... I think something that's going to breed really well is what we need. Something little. Maybe a Nile Monitor. This might be a good idea, actually. They're, they do breed quite quick, I think, if I remember like, rightly. I don't... I've not really had them much before. Uh, let's... I'm not sure. Ringtail Lima is good to have. They do breed really well. Is that a good idea? Lady Ranger? I'm not sure. Um, Thompson's Gazelle. Okay, I think... I mean, let's see what the market gives us. Oh, man. Is that it? Is that it for the market? Wow. Okay, it's going to have to be Warthogs. Let's just see how many Warthogs you can have and how much space they need. They don't need a lot of space, actually, which is good. Okay, they, they can actually be on their own as well. Okay, well, let's oh, let's just get the Warthogs. It's probably not a bad idea, though. Go with what you know, you know? Okay, let's take these two. Let's put them in the zoo. We're going to have a little Warthog enclosure here. And hopefully no one's going to, like, kick off. Let's put in... I think let's put in a... Edit the barrier. What I'm going to do is just put this down here. Oh, don't have enough money or something. Why did it not do this? Okay. Okay, right, let's have a look. So people have to walk around here, then they can get stuck there instead. <laughs> okay, the warthog is here. So let's just... Oh man, let's put donation boxes out first. Very important, guys. This is how you're going to get extra money. Donations. Preferably by where you've put certain things. So let's. We could just. I can't remember if warthogs get like a bit sick of people. I can't remember. I cannot remember. But that's all right. They'll do that. That's more than enough room, I guess. Okay, so there is lots and lots of donation boxes here. Whoops. Okay, let's go piggy wiggy wiggy. Don't know why I've just said that. Okay, we're going to sort out a straight... Oh, okay, we have a lot of space. I'm surprised by that. Kind of glad we've gone for warthogs because you do need a lot of space for warthogs. Uh, let's put a little bit more long grass in. Let's just put that at the back there, over there. Okay, and then we need some, like... Now, Lady Ranger, do not go nuts. I tend to go a little bit nuts with the rocks. So I can't do that today. <laughs> I don't have to do it. Let's make a little watering hole because I do think of watering holes when it comes to, like, African animals. Oh, a dynamic mossy rock. Look at the mossy rock, guys. Cool. I do like the mossy rocks. See, I'm doing it again. I'm getting too excited. So... I don't don't do what I do and spend too much money on rocks. Okay, let's get a savanna. Let's get a savanna rock. Do I want savanna or do I want tropical? Mm, I think I want tropical actually. Let's give them a tropical environment. Uh, we could create some form of shelter with the rocks too. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, let's just make this weird. I don't know what that is. Um, I shouldn't probably have done it. Okay, let's just put in some plants. We're not about making the enclosures look nice. We just need money. That's what we need. Okay, we probably need like one good tree. Make a little kind of bit there. Ooh, look at qu the quiver tree. is very strange. I like it though. Let's put some papyrus in. And then we want... I'm just making lots of little plants around this water hole thing. Could put an umbrella doodah in. Don't know where to put it. Maybe that's quite a big tree for this enclosure. <laughs> oh, I did want to go tropical theme. More tropical though, didn't I, I think. Yeah, like a tamarind tree. I love a tamarind tree. I think a tamarind tree is beautiful. Oh, I'm going to leave this space here for like food bowls and stuff like that, you know. So we're going to mix tropical with African plantation because I think it looks kind of cool yeah I kind of like it you know uh so we need to not maybe not put too many trees and stuff in don't get too excited yeah put a big mangrove in lush and then we need somehow I just what I wanted to do is make some form of natural cover but I know we're not really here for that we're here to make money 
and make it fast, you know. But I'm just going to make a bit of a bodge jobby shelter thing. I just, this is one thing I just love about this game. Like, you can literally... The game knows if you've made, like, a good enough shelter or not, you know. I think it's very clever. For somebody who was brought up with Zoo Tycoon, I love this game. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, man, that went the wrong... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let's... Okay, this is out of control. Trying to create a really cool place for them. Okay, we need some sort of stick thing. Oh, that works well. Let's put there, let's put that in. Cool, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, let's put in, I think, let's around the back here. I think let's put in a little bit. I wouldn't mind putting in glass, maybe. We could put, um, let's go barriers a second. Let's put glass in here. Yeah, I think that looks quite, kind of nice. What I want to do, actually, let's just, oh man, I can't edit this. Okay, let's just, can I move? I don't know how to move. Oh, I'll be all right. Anyway, I was going to move it so it like paired up so the glass was against that, if you know what I mean. Okay, are the warthogs happy yet? I don't know. Uh, we need enrichment, we need food, we need all that kind of thing. So it's common warthog. Begins with a C. Okay. Let's put in, I don't think we need a large, I think let's just put in, mm, yeah, let's put a large one in, that's fine. Oh, okay. Let's, okay. Let's just keep an eye on the animal trading centre as well, just make sure there's, uh, uh, as many females as we can get, do you know what I mean? Obviously, we've got to keep a little bit of an eye on space. But I think they've got quite a lot of space, which is good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, let's just go to Habitat a second. Let's see. Oh, man, I need to put research in. That's what I need to do. Uh-oh. Because we literally have no... Uh-oh. We have no stuff for them at the moment. Uh-oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Okay, let's put like. Oh, let's put actual straw in, actually. That'd be nice. Okay, we have three. That's good. They would. They will end up breeding quite well. I hope. Right, we need to sort out all the education stuff, though, guys. What am I doing? Because this is what makes you money. So, for example, we need to put in like education boards here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like that, I guess. And then hopefully more people will be educated and then they give us more money. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We have an educator in the park somewhere. We'll we'll put in an educating talking point for the Terrapins as well. <laughs> I love these. These are little additions that they added to the to the park. I think it's cool. Look at that. Look at the little zebra thing. That's not a zebra. <laughs> wow. What a donut. Okay, we're just like, yeah, people could look at that and have a nice time. Oh, is the educator talking about that? Oh, the educator's just chatting. Chatting rubbish. Cool. Let's go line to grid. I would like... Uh, what would I like? I kind of like... Hmm. I kind of wanted this path to be a little considerably wider. So we'll, we'll just make another path off of here. Let's deselect grid a second. Let's make it considerably wider. Can I connect this somehow? That would be great. I'm not sure how to do it right now. Let's go across here. Hey, that's nice. And then, yeah, okay, that works. I don't know why I just did that, but I like it. Okay, yes, the Terrapin has an offspring. This is what I was hoping for. Because then I can sell them. Oh, three of them as well. Great. We're going to quick trade. Do we quick trade? What, what do we get for releasing them? Hmm. 16. We can also... Send them off to potentially send to trade center. You see, uh, okay, let's just quick trade. Yeah, you get two thousand pounds for that. That's, that's not bad amount of money. That's good. Uh, maybe we could put some plants in. I shouldn't be doing this because the plants are not going to help anyone <laughs> right now. Unless they make, the, I mean, they make the place look a little bit nicer. Maybe people get give you more money if you've got plants. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, how to make money fast. 
it's not this is how you do it so you want a good exhibit animal and then you want wherever people are looking you want to put your actually what am i talking about I need to put in education boards like everywhere yeah one i would say like a good a good little animal a good exhibit trait exhibit animal exhibit training good exhibit animal and a good what like a little animal that doesn't take up much room but breeds really well you know that's what i would say that's what i would say this is crazy though we need like boards in why is it raining it's because i chose this map that's not a good like location really <laughs> oh dear Cool. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Right, let's have a look. We need speakers as well. Speakers are great. Should we put big speaker in there? Let's do uh let's put one kind of there and make it massive. Don't know if that's gonna work actually. Let's have a look. This is my least favourite bit, but the education part is, is extremely important. It's the whole point in having wildlife parks or zoos or whatever. Cool. Come on, piggies. Get breeding. We need some money. That's what we need. We could put in... So you don't want, like, too many shops just yet either. You know, you need to make money. Are people using the using the shops? <laughs> are people using the shops? Silly question. Yes, they are. I'm glad it's raining, really, because they can buy my extremely, over you know, overpriced umbrellas. So that's good. Right, let's put this speaker. I'm going to make this one quite big. Yeah, that's perfect. Make sure everyone is educated. You can have like a little talking point as well. You know that noise? I didn't realise that was a person every time I played the game. I thought it was a peacock because normally I have peacocks to start. Which is hilarious. Yeah, I just need one more speaker, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll put a little one here. Okay. We do, in fact, need to put a little speaker on top of... Put one there. That's a bit further away from the... From the warthogs. Cool, is that all touching? Good. And we need... So they've got, like... Yeah, they've got good education there. That's good. Let's ex uh, align to grid down here, actually. Let's have a bit more of a path. I'd like a grid. Yeah, let's... Uh, why does it not like that? That's annoying. Let's put this mosaic-y path in. Not that it really matters. I'm not too worried about what these things look like. Uh, okay. So, we'll extend the zoo outwards and things, and it'll be great. Okay. Our money is not going up at the moment. <laughs> Oops, this. Uh, but, you know... We're not in debt, so, you know, it could be worse. could be much worse. So this is what I like to do anyway. So let's think about adding in maybe another exhibit trading animal, like maybe there. Something else with, like, high appeal, perhaps. We do need an animal talking point, though. People people like to be educated, you know. So what we'll do is we'll, build, we'll put one down here. And we'll put some seats in do that yeah link seating confirm link and then we'll make it the warthog lovely look at this i think we need to fancy pants that up a little bit not that it should be priority because we need to be saving money really but you know it's got to, i don't want it to look too rough but planet zoo is a great game are you guys playing it do you know this game it's a great game as I keep telling you I keep telling you all I'd like to do another franchise though but this is how to make money fast in my opinion so yeah let's just have a look and see if where should I put the seating for those I mean maybe there yeah I'll put one set of seating there perhaps and then we can get another animal talk point uh where can we put this um here yeah let's can I put it like here 
Whoop. I wanted to like put it somewhere good, you know? Uh, okay, that'll do. I don't know if that is the best place to put it, but you know. Cool. <laughs> Scenery ratings, not great, but I will put flowers around it and hopefully that'll sort out everything. Uh, or not, you know. Let's put some dog bushes in. I quite like those. Don't know why, but I've chosen them. Put these little plants around. I think these little plants are quite cute. Put in a giant one there. And then put in a huge one. Put like them everywhere. Okay. Are we on the up? We are on the up. That's good. Okay, the warthogs need really, really, really... Oh, no. High amounts of litter. Started, guys. It started the whole bin issue. Oh, no. Vending machines as well. We should probably put some vending machines in. And benches. That's probably a good idea, actually. Okay, why does it not want me to put bins there? Let's put some recycling bins in as well. This is fun. We need benches, though. Okay, where else can we put bins? Uh, maybe, yeah, like one, two, three, four. Diseased animal. Oh, no. Let's get some benches as well. Okay, there we go. People need to sit down and stuff to chill out. You know, they need they need time to rest. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, nice row of benches there. Okay. So what other things can we do? I think we can put in some more exhibit animals that are gonna be like good. <laughs> that are going to be really good. Ah, don't want it connected. I mean, that fits really nicely. But I don't necessarily want the path down there. Do you know what I mean? So let's let's put. Oh man. Oh no, it's messed up my whole path system. That's annoying. Okay, let's undo that then. Uh, unless I put the double one in, but I don't really want to spend the money on all the other stuff. Ooh, it's gonna that cost a lot of money. I wouldn't normally do that. That isn't the best idea. Okay, let's see the appeal. Let's get something really good. Or maybe we can get one with a high appeal and the other one with good breeding. One that breeds really well. So something that breeds really well is like the cockroaches and these poisoned frog thingies. Uh, so so let's put in... They don't have like great appeal, but we'll see. Something that breeds well. We need something that breeds really well. Like these snails breed really well. Okay, let's go poison dark froggy thing. Let's put those in, and then we'll get something with a high appeal in, as I keep forgetting what appeal apparently means. Okay, let's check this out. I know, I'm on it. I'm sorting it out. Donation boxes, donation boxes. Every little counts. Quickly. Oh, that doesn't look particularly tidy. Not that it matters particularly. Put donation boxes everywhere. Cool. Okay, so we have these guys. Is that sorted out now? Yes, it is. Fabulous. Okay, now we need... We need to tell everybody what they are. Oh, did I edit these on the other one? No, I don't I don't think I even had those in, actually. What a wally. Let's go and sort that out now. No, I didn't. We need those little ones. These ones. Woohoo! You see these? They tell everybody what the animal are. What the animal are? That's not very good English. Yeah, I want to start another franchise. We're currently doing the Tutti Fruity Zoo at the moment, which is a sandbox zoo, where it's my mission to fill the entire map because I've never filled an entire map before. So, yeah, like, look how big the maps are. Like, huge, you know? Oh, I've won something. Yay, I love winning things. What have I won? What have I won? Adopt exhibit. All oh, right. Maybe not that much. Okay, we need 300 guests. And then we need good profits off of the information centre. What's going on there? Why is there nobody here? People are not happy. Why are people not happy? Are they selling stuff? Is it too expensive? We're in profit. Learn more. Oh, about work zones. Uh, maybe I should like, maybe I should bring these prices down a little bit. 
Or maybe I should bring the prices down a little bit. Ah, Disney don't. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, we've got that in there. And then let's get in a new... Let's get something with a really high appeal. Ooh. What about fire salamander? I've not really had those before. Yeah, is that a male one? Yeah. Because there's a female one right here. Okay, fire salamanders. I don't know much about these at all. But hopefully they'll bring some more appeal to the zoo and blah, blah, blah. Okay, sort those guys out. This is definitely a good way to make money, I think. Get your get some high appeal animals in there. Get animals that breed really well. And then give it time as well. So you can fast forward, get time, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not my best move. Okay, what we're going to have to do is move this and have smaller ones so nothing's going to clash, you know. Ooh. Can't overlap the speakers. That's so difficult. It's difficult. I think it's difficult. Okay. Because, obviously, I've just popped those guys there, so... Okay, that's fine clash those net so let's make this slightly smaller okay let's make it slightly smaller oh this is so bad okay has anybody got any tips for this actually okay okay and then we can put in i think what i'll do is i'll put a speaker like here mm, i can't just put it in the middle of the path can i i also put it like underground oh it will work right okay maybe just move it slightly don't it so it sort of touches, uh, sort of touches most of it. Uh, yeah, okay. And let's do the same over here. We just need one little speaker. I think what I want to do is like put it underground over, mm, over here. Because that way it will educate enough space, but not interfere with everybody else. Hopefully. <gasps> oh man. Okay. Stressful. Oh, I want an animal talking point. Come on, you stupid thing. Yeah, that's where I wanted it. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Let's put in a seat. A seat there. And a seat there. We could put a little path going up the middle, actually, couldn't we? Mm, do I like the path at the middle? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, let's just sort that education stuff out. Uh, we want the fire salamander. And then here we want golden poison frog thing. And we need more conservation boards. That's what we need, guys. Conservation boards. Make the world go round. Okay. People must get educated. How are we doing money-wise, guys? We have a green arrow, but this is how to make money fast. So, trying to... Don't use too much space. Get something with good appeal that breeds well. My pigs are not breeding. Which is very annoying. Why is the welfare not good? Yeah, I know your enrichment's not great. Let's just check, see how the vet research is doing. Okay, we have... Okay, let's have a quick look at the... Let's see if there's any toys and stuff. Hey, we have a small barrel feeder for them. That's good. Let's put it over here. Bring people over here a little bit more. Cool. Oh, herb, herb treat thing. Okay. That's going to definitely help. And now we just need to wait and see the magic happen. <laughs> I think. I think. So we could put more food stands and stuff like that in over here, but I don't know if I'm going to be putting too many in too quick. You can do that. Then you end up with, like, too many outcomes, you know, uh, too many, too many, uh, too many outgoings, you know. So let's put, uh, let's put a hat stand thing there instead. Let's do that. Hopefully people can buy completely pointless things. Let's have a look at what, see what vending machines we've got. Ah, the vending machines are great. Whoever invented those, it's brilliant. Uh, let's, where should we put them? Um, put one there. Yeah, and then we can put like the odd vending machine in. It do, they do bring in quite a bit of money, which is good. 
like we'll put in a vending machine Ooh, where should we put one maybe like yeah like here maybe yeah cool okay so are we in positive equity i don't know whether we are we need more drink places so that's fine hey the warthog is about to breed that's good whoa lots of people there guys i think that's uh let's suspect let's change the width of this i did want a path down the middle i think that looks kind of nice actually so great plan next if i'm just gonna wait i don't want to get too many animals too soon because that is something you can do yeah so this is how i make money quick on planet zoo so i have money and it is going up might be going up slowly but it's going up education is terrible why is education so bad what have i not done i think actually a lot of it is down to research as well you know i don't think i like this path very much this bright blue one but oh well uh yeah how to make money fast so let's have a look at the management here so okay money purchases taxes Ooh, taxes are not good power cost staff wage oh my goodness look at this this is mental i don't want to take out a loan because don't need one marketing we could put a bit of marketing in do i put marketing in or is it too early i'm not sure i'm not sure i think it's too early why where's the high amounts of litter oh there okay well let's put some more bins and stuff in i love putting bins in okay we've put some bins in that's great great probably need a little area where people can eat as well and things like that so let's make a big let's align to grid here actually let's make like a big oh that's annoying look this is what i'm talking about with the ground being weird don't know why it does this sometimes right flatten to foundation oh, okay i mean this is costing us money that i would not assume normally to to use you know let's see if that's helped probably not no my luck oh that's up good so yeah we're gonna we'll probably build another exhibit but we'll see that yeah so tips then don't use too much space make sure you have high appeal exhibit trading animals because you can actually like you can you can make a break a zoo with a good snake you know and then uh get something that doesn't need a lot of room that's going to breed well and you can sell the offspring and that kind of thing so yeah that's basically it guys thank you for watching i hope that's helpful any questions about the game that you want to know i'm not an expert i'm not brilliant at this game but i just enjoy it so yeah more planet zoo stuff on the way hopefully a new franchise that kind of thing so thank you so so much for watching see we're, we're making money it's good it's it's not like raging money yet but it is making money so i've enjoyed that very much so yeah don't get too many buildings you know your food stalls stuff like that just get what you can get a couple of vending machines in there make sure everybody is well educated and donation boxes everywhere so they're my hints thanks so much for watching but yeah please consider subscribing we've got some more animal games coming to this channel and i'm very excited about it thank you so much for watching if you could smash that like button for us really appreciate it have a wild rest of your day bye